So the law of, law of accelerating returns is where you have something in an exponential growth, but the rate is also increasing. That's a bit, so it's, it's like a double whammy. People don't understand exponential growth and they definitely, by God, do not understand the law of accelerating returns. And the human genome sequence, sequencing was a prime example. So basically, we, around 1990, we wanted to map the human genome, right? We wanted to basically break up the code of us. Uh, everything, the most valuable data on the planet is basically your own genome. If you can hack the genome, you can basically eradicate all disease. You, you can find the cancer part or the bit where you're, that makes you prone for cancer, okay, delete. So that is the goal, okay, we're, we're quite some, we're quite a way away, but there's a, a in, promising thing called CRISPR, which is worth Googling. It's crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Anyway, it took seven years to map just 1% of the human genome. Okay, and this was back in sort of by, yeah, 1997-ish, we'd only mapped 1% of the human genome. And all the scientists, by the way, most scientists understand exponential growth, but how long, so how long further, how much time do you think these scientists said that we'd get to 100, 100%? How many years do you think? It got to 1997, they're like, shit, we've done 1%. It's gonna take, how many years do you think? Yeah. Pretty much the world, the whole science community said, well, it took seven years to get 1%. Meh, it's gonna take five, 700 years to get to 100%. And these are scientists. Um, but then a guy came along called Ray Kurzweil, and he is pretty much one of the, the most accredited and prolific inventors that is alive right now. He's invented pretty much anything to do with electronics right now, optical character rec recognition, voice um, recognition, so much. So much so that Google poached him. And basically he was like, no, I, I love being my own business owner. And Google said, you have unlimited budget, you can do whatever the hell you want. But also please help us with our AI. Um, so he said yes. And he's now the head of engineering for Google. And he's leading Google in AI and loads of different things. But anyway, so from 19, no, so from the year 2000, he uh, made something like 142 predictions over the next 20 years. He's got an 86% hit rate so far, 86%. And he said if you, the, the ones that he, he, that are classed as wrong, he was only out by two or three years. So like he's pretty accurate. And basically back in the 90s, he had a little set, he had a little party um, at his house. And he said, hey, it's taken seven years to get to 1%. It's going to take like another five to six years to get to the full 100%. No one believed him. He got ridiculed. Um, and then guess what? 2003, we mapped the whole sequence. So, and, and the reason being is that he was basically um, mapping how long it took to double. Okay, so it was like, right, it took X amount of time to get to 0.1% mapping then X amount of time to get to point two, and he was like, oh shit, 1%, another, five, another six doublings and we're there, pretty much. And he was like, okay, how, much, how, lo how long are these six doublings gonna take? Six, seven years or so. Um, and so from start, by the way, it, it, yeah, start to finish, 13 years, and it took $100 million. We can now map the whole genome for under $500 right now, to the point where in a couple of years, we'll be able to um, have an app and a little device that plugs into the USB-C of your mobile phone, and you can bring it, take it to Africa and help, um, and actually help people. So this is exponential growth and the law of accelerating returns basically meshed in together. Does that make sense?